Hello HTM Games and in this video we will uh, add a stamina so your character will run out of stamina when we are running and then it starts to regenerate the stamina after so yeah let's get started first let's fix some things that I noticed so let's go to the PP first person character and let's go to the mm, to the reloading where's the reloading here okay we have here all these on ADS and stop firing and stuff like that we want to also add here stop printing like this stop printing okay now we also want to go to the where was it I don't actually remember it was input action fire which is input action fire here we also want to add here uh, stop printing this one so if we want to add it here okay and now let's check if those things work just before we could, uh, shoot when we were running stop running when we shoot and also we could uh, reload while running let's check now it stops running and after it starts running again okay everything works so yeah uh, now uh, one more thing that i remember we have to go to the ads timeline to here and then we have to do uh, something we added this thing here last in the last video we want to actually uh, change this a little bit because now a little bit like fast it doesn't play with uh, a time like uh, ads time that we uh, ads time variable that we set on the from the data table it uses some own thing i don't know why okay it works smooth but it's like too fast and we cannot control it like the speed so we want to fix that by first moving all this little bit further away to here and also this now after oh let's move even more now i'll move this little bit down okay now here we just want to get the hands Mash and get relative transform like this. Now I want to move it this to here and promote this to a variable like like this. You know, pretty simple stuff. And now I will move this little bit more down. Okay. Now we have more space for it, and we want to connect this also, and we want to call this variable like. ADS oh start transform or something like that that's good for me and I will move it to here with his friends and yeah now we just want to change this variable to that one and now I think it should work okay let's check now yeah now it's smooth and it uh, uses the time or the speed that we set so it's good okay now everything looks pretty nice and smooth okay now we can get to the uh, stamina system so first we actually have to we have to oh I'll remove this because I don't need this uh, here those were just some things that I was checking before some variables that if they were working but yeah you should only have this here on the event tick and now we want to create a new variable or uh, sorry function new function and the function should be called stamina and now we can go back to the event graph and we want to add the stamina to here like this now we actually okay yeah everything's good now we want to go to stamina and add a branch 
and the thing that we want to check is if we are sprinting okay and if we are sprinting we want to add a another branch and now we want to check if our stamina current is greater than zero okay now let's actually duplicate this stamina current duplicate and let's call it stamina max and now let's move it to here and now we also have to okay it's already 100 when we duplicated it but you have to set the default value to 100 or whatever you want to use and this uh stamina current to that same value also okay and now if it's uh if it's not over zero, so it's zero, then we want to stop sprinting because then we don't have any more stamina. And if it is if it is greater than that, then we want to set the stamina current with a value which is stamina current minus. Now we have to get get world delta seconds like this, and we also want to multiply multiply this uh, by I will use like maybe thirty, and then we have to write these two together and to here. Okay. So if our stamina current is greater than zero. And we are sprinting, yeah. Uh, then we want to get the stamina current and add it at a world delta second. Uh, for example, if you have 60 frames per second, this would be like point, point zero 0.017 or 16.6, something like that, and times 30. So it's like 0. 0.5 maybe. Or oh, wait a sec. I don't, I don't can I don't I cannot count. It's like two o'clock at two at uh, what I think two at night. I mean, so yeah, I should be sleeping, but yeah, okay. But this just is the way you that is how fast the uh, stamina like decreases, you know. Okay, you can just put like a value like one here, and it uses uh, one, or actually you can put just uh, one here if you want, and then it uses one per one frame. So if more the frames, more the faster it uses. So if you have 60 frames, it uses 60 and 100, 120, it uses 120. So that because of that, we want to use the delta seconds and multiply by it. So it's always the same doesn't depend on the frame rate okay and the next thing we want to get from the false and do a another branch and I want to align this because I like to I like that everything is aligned yeah it's good and the next thing we have to do we have to check if our stamina current is less than Stamina max and oh, what? Okay, and if it's not, we want to get this stamina restoring and set it to false. So if our stamina is max. So if it's not uh, less than the max stamina, okay, then we don't want to restore stamina. But if it is, then we want to create another branch. So many branches here, and then we want to get the stamina restoring. And or boolean, and also. What else? Uh, if our stamina current is greater than 
zero. Okay. Because in my system that we are creating now, the stamina hits zero, there's like there will be like a little delay before it starts to restore. So if you doesn't add run that much that it goes to zero, it always starts immediately, but if it goes if it goes to zero then it takes uh, uh, there is a little delay that we can set you can set whatever you want and yeah after this we want to set our stamina current this looks weird i want to move this a little bit like like this maybe oh not that much okay that's better a little bit more up Okay, we want to set our stamina current with a get world set delta seconds again. Then we want to get the stamina current again, and we want to add to it. And we want to connect this to there. And what we want to add add to it is delta times multiplied by a value which I will set to 20 so it's a little bit less than the value that we so it decreases 30 uh, his times 30 and it adds his times 20 so it's a little bit slower when it adds the stamina so you cannot run all the time okay i think everything is done here maybe yeah i think and now i actually I will move this to here for some reason. I don't know. And okay. Now we have to go to the event graph and we have to find some empty space, which we should have, for example, here. Here, maybe. Okay, let's create a custom event. It should be called like uh, what did I call it? Let's call it like restore. No, restore stamina. And now we want to do a do once. And if you didn't know, this is like as it says. It do only does it once, and then it closes the gate, basically, and it doesn't. You can do it again, even if you call this event before it has been reset. Like you know, okay. Now we have to add a timeline, and we want to call this set restore um, stamina or something like that, and play from the start. Okay, now we want to set this length to, for example, I will make it like two seconds maybe. Okay, compile save. You can put this uh, delay after it if you after running like out of stamina. Okay, and from the finished we want to set the stamina restoring to uh, true. And from here we want to just connect to the res reset. And I will actually make this a little bit nicer like this. And like this okay now we just want to call this event from the stamina from after this set oh set stamina set state no 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 set stamina oh, what was it restore stamina sorry restore stamina like this and now just to demonstrate to you how it works we can go to the player hard. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want. Let's get a text. Let's add a text here, maybe. And I will make this okay, a little bit bigger, maybe. Oh, actually, it's pretty good. Let's leave it there. And now let's bind this, create binding. And we want to get the SPP first person character like this. Get Stamina. Get stamina current. Now we want to 
to in oh how can we do that in inter oh actually now I don't remember how it works how can I change this to a integer wait a sec okay my head is not working but well, we don't have to do that we can just connect it to here like this and now if we go play let's see now we can see the 100 stamina here now if we run it decreases if we stop now it will start to increase and if we run to the zero it will take three seconds or what did i do i said uh, maybe two seconds or something like that like and you cannot start running before it's 10 or you can set it to like 20 30 if you want but then it's good for me but now it's working you can run you can run for like five seconds then you had to wait two seconds it starts to regenerate and now you can run for a while but for the max stamina you had to wait for i don't know five seven seconds but yeah it's working as you can see you don't have to leave, leave that uh, those things there on the screen you can remove those if you want but if you want to set the values as you you like like if you make this bigger it decreases the stamina faster if you make this bigger it uh, give it gives you it uh, back faster you know and here waste um, here what is the can sprint here can sprint here is the value if we set it to for example 50 we can start running if it's under 50 so if we run to the like 20 now we cannot run before it's 50 now we can run again okay now you understand how everything works and how you can change those so i think this is all for this video and if you like the content please click, click the like button and yeah if you want to see more of this series please subscribe and yeah see you on the next one bye